Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our time of prayer today on Monday, the 7th of June. We begin our time of prayer with our prayers of preparation. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and to set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. There are three psalms for tonight's evening prayer. Psalm 26, Psalm 28 and Psalm 29. And so we begin with Psalm 26. Give judgment for me, O Lord, for I have walked with integrity. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Test me, O Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. For your love is before my eyes. I have walked in your truth. I have not joined the company of the false, nor consorted with the deceitful. I hate the gathering of evildoers, and I will not sit down with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, O Lord, that I may go about your altar. To make here the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all your wonderful deeds. Lord, I love the habitation, house of your habitation and the place where your glory abides. Sweep not away with me away with sinners, nor my life with the bloodthirsty, whose hands are full of wicked schemes and their right hand full of bribes. As for me, I walk with integrity. Redeem me, Lord, and be merciful to me. My foot stands firm. In the great congregation, I will bless the Lord. In Psalm 28. To you I call, O Lord, my rock, be not deaf to my cry, lest if you do not hear me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my prayer when I cry out to you, when I lift up my hands to you, your holy of holies. Do not snatch me away with the wicked, with the evildoers, who speak peaceably with their neighbours, while malice is in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their devices. Reward them according to the work of their hands, and pay them their just deserts. They take no heed of the Lord's doings, nor of the work of his hands. Therefore shall he break them down, and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart has trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart dances for joy, and I may, in my song will I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them and carry them forever. And Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, you powers of heaven, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the honour due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters, the God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty in operation. The voice of the Lord is a glorious voice. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord splits the flash of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees writhe and strips the forest bare. In his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the water flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king for evermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading from scripture is of Joshua chapter 14. These are the inheritances that the Israelites received in the land of Canaan, 
which the priest Eleazar and Joshua son of Nun, and the heads of the families of the tribes of the Israelites distributed to them. Their inheritance was by lot, as the Lord had commanded Moses for the nine and a half tribes. For Moses had given an inheritance to the two and a half tribes beyond the Jordan, but to the Levites he gave no inheritance among them. For the people of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, and no portion was given to the Levites in the land, but only towns to live in, with their pasture lands for their flocks and herds. The Israelites did as the Lord commanded Moses, they allotted the land. Then the people of Judah came to Joshua at Gilgal, and Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, said to him, You know what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God in Kadesh Barnea, concerning you and me. I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought him an honest report. But my companions who went up with me made the heart of the people fail, yet I wholeheartedly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land on which your foot has trodden shall be an inheritance for you and your children for ever, because you have wholeheartedly followed the Lord my God. And now, as you see, the Lord has kept me alive, as he said these forty-five years since the time that the Lord spoke this word to Moses, while Israel was journeying through the wilderness, and here I am today, eighty-five years old. I am still as strong today as I was in the day that Moses sent me. My strength now is as my strength was then, for war and for going and coming. So now give me this hill country of which the Lord spoke on that day. For you heard on that day how the, how the Anakim were there with great fortified cities. It may be that the Lord will be with me and I shall drive them out, as the Lord said. Then Joshua blessed him and gave Hebron to Caleb, son of Jephunneh, for an inheritance. So Hebron became the inheritance of Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, to this day, because he wholeheartedly followed the Lord, the God of Israel. Now the name of Hebron formerly was Kiriath Araba. This Arba was the greatest man among the Anakim, and the land had rest from war. Here ends the first lesson. And our canticle, a song of God's grace. The glorious grace of God is freely bestowed on us in the beloved. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us for adoption as your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will. To the praise of your glorious grace which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In you we have redemption through the blood of Christ, the forgiveness of our sins. According to the riches of your grace which you have lavished upon us. You have made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of your will, according to your purpose which you set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in Christ, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The glorious grace of God is freely bestowed on us in the beloved. Our second reading from Scripture is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 12, verses 1 to 12. Meanwhile, when the crowd gathered in thousands so that they trampled on one another, he began to speak first to his disciples. Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees, that is their hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered and nothing secret that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed from the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that can do nothing more. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he is killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten in God's sight. But even the hairs of your head are all counted. Do not be afraid, you are of more value than many sparrows. And I tell you, 
Everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man also will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they bring you before the synagogues, the rulers and the authorities, do not worry about how you are to defend yourself or what you are to say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you at that very hour what you ought to say. Here ends our second lesson and our responsory. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In the Magnificat. My spirit rejoices in you, O God. My soul proclaims your greatness. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly, he has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. My spirit rejoices in you, O God. My soul proclaims your greatness. And so from the rising of the sun to its setting, let us pray to the Lord. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, we pray to you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in the paths of peace and goodwill, we pray to you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offences, we pray to you, O Lord that there may be peace in your church and for the whole world, we pray to you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit, in communion with St. David, St. Asaph, St. Giles, and with all your saints, in trusting one another and all our life to Christ, we pray to you, O Lord. And so let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. In our worldwide calendar of prayer today, we pray for the Diocese of East Carolina in the Episcopal Church in the United States of America. In our own diocesan calendar of prayer this month, we pray for the Mould Mission Area and for Carol Poolman, their Mission Area Leader. We pray for Archdeacon John, Archdeacon of Wrexham, and for Bishop Gregory, for all his ministry for and on our behalf. Also this month, we pray for all those to be ordained priest and deacon in this diocese and across the province. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those developing, producing and rolling out the vaccination programme, both locally and nationally, and also internationally. We pray for Colin and all people in nursing and residential homes, and for Daniel and all those in prison, not forgetting their families. We pray for the work of our local chaplains, for Jane and the chaplaincy team at the Myla Hospital, and for Alan at the, and the chaplaincy team at HMP Berwyn. We remember before God all those known to us at this time in any kind of need. Those who have asked us to pray for them, and those who have nobody to pray for them. We pray for Richard, Tim, Louise, Derek, Joanne, Mo, Malcolm, Gordon, 
James, Mal, Anne, Nancy, Bob, Peggy, Mark, Harry, Dot, Mavanwi, Chris, Peter, Josh, and Gwen. We pray for those who are bereaved at this time. We pray for Paul Furman, Katie, and their family, for Jill and Peter Waters, for Judith Gammon and her family. And we pray for our dearly departed loved ones who we see no more, but have their eternal rest with you, Lord. As we remember Diana Furman, Simon Waters and Kate Gammon. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And our collect for today. O oh God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers, and because through the weakness of our mortal nature we can do no good thing without you, grant us the help of your grace, that in the keeping of your commandments we may please you it both in will and deed, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And so let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And so give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And we share in the words of the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.